No. Yeah, last class where we stopped. Okay, so last class we were doing placeholder. Yeah, prepare statement. So guys, what is prepare statement? All of you get to know, right? Yes. So I'm not going to repeat. So up to prepare the statement, what is pre prepare the statement? And what are the factory helper method they will use? Just any doubt up to here, guys. All of you get to know. Yes, all of you get to know, guys. Okay, so fine then we, we can proceed now with the placeholder. Yes, now we can proceed with the placeholder. So, so guys, yeah, the so performance wise, which is better, prepare statement or statement interface? Yes, guys, performance wise, which is better, performance wise, which is better. Prepare statement or statement interface. Yes. So basically, performance wise, you can say prepare statement is better. Yeah. Because here at the time of passing the query, the query is compiled. Yes. The query is compiled and it is ready to execute. At the time of passing the query itself, guys, the query will be compiled and it's ready to execute. So at the runtime, just we have to execute the query. Yes, at the runtime, guys, just we have to execute the query. And coming about prepare statement, even it is going to support placeholder. Even guys, it will support placeholder. So placeholder will be yeah, we can say guys placeholder can be represented by question mark. Yes, placeholder guys, it is represented by question mark. And with the help of placeholder, we can pass the dynamic value at runtime. Yes, with the help of placeholder guys, we can pass, yes, we can pass the dynamic value at runtime. So first point guys, what is placeholder? So with the it so this placeholder will be supported by Yes, this placeholder will be supported by your yeah, placeholder will be supported by prepared statement. And first point, guys, what is prepared statement in the sense? Prepared statement is the one. Yeah, we can say guys, prepared statement is going to take dynamic value with the help of placeholder. Prepared statement will take dynamic value. So, guys, let us proceed and we will discuss. What is placeholder? But first point I gave placeholder is nothing but it will take dynamic value at runtime. So let us proceed with the placeholder concept. So let us take a down save heading placeholder. Yes, so first point what is placeholder in the sense I can say it is a parameter. Yes, it is nothing but guys, it is a parameter. It is a parameter which takes or we can say which is a parameter which holds it is a parameter which holds holds or takes which holds or takes dynamic value dynamic value at runtime Yes, so what is placeholder guys? It is the one which takes, which holds and which takes dynamic value at runtime. Which holds and takes dynamic value at runtime. Now in case of placeholder, in case of JDBC, yes, in case of JDBC, placeholder will be represented by question mark. 
in case of jdbc guys place holder will be represented by question mark yes so now guys whenever we are going to use place holder whenever we will use place holder we have to remember few rules whenever we are going to use place holder guys we have to remember few rules so basically we have to follow few rules whenever we are going to use place holder so rule number 1 yeah basically we have to follow guys three different rules so we'll discuss all the rules one by one we'll discuss guys all the rules one by one so rule number 1 we have to yes we have to set the data or value for place holder before execution yes so for this place holder for this place holder we have to set data we have to set data or value before execution before execution okay before execution guys so for place holder guys first we have to set we have to set guys we have to set data or value before execution so before the execution itself mandatory we have to set the data or value now next point the number of the number of data must match must yeah must match with must match with number of place holder yes so number of data must match with number of place holder i'll write ph yes the number of data must match with number of place holder let's say in a table in a table guys if you have three column so for each column we have to declare one place holder for each column we have to declare one place holder so that place holder will take the value from the user at the run time and it will store it yes that place holder will take the value from user at run time and that value will be stored to the respective column so that's what the number of data the number of data must match with number of place holder yeah number of data must match with number of place holder in a table if you have 100 column then you have to declare you have to pass 100 place holder in a table if you have two column then you have to declare two place holder so first rule what is the first rule guys for the place holder we have to set the data and value for place holder we have to set the data or value before execution before the execution itself we have to set data or value second point the number of data must exactly match with number of place holder the number of data or value must exactly match number of place holder so this data is nothing but you can say guys this is your column this data is nothing but guys you can say the number of columns or name of column yes so it should match guys next point we have to now we have to set the value for place holder yes even we have to set the value so we are going to set the value at run time so to set the value to set the value user will use a method so the name of method is set name of method will be yes so guys for place holder we have to set the value before the execution so to set the value user will make use of a method that is set x x x method yes so here user is going to make use of a method so the method name is set x x x so what is x x x here guys basically it is a data type yes what is x x x x guys here it is a data type of a column if a column contains integer then you will pass set int if the column contains double value you will pass 
set int if the column contains long value you will say set int if the column contains string value you will say set int so with the help of set x x x method we have to pass we have to set the value for yeah we have to set the value for placeholder at run time and even before the execution even before the execution so guys what is placeholder first point it is a parameter which will take dynamic value at run time and in jdbc it is represented by question mark and whenever we are going to use placeholder mainly we have to follow we have to remember three different rules rule number 1 so the data and value so the yeah the value or data of the placeholder should be in the sense we have to set the value for placeholder data before the execution second the number of data must match with number of placeholder so here data means column name if we have five column then we have to use five placeholder and so on next we have to set the value for placeholder so how we can set the value so we have to make use of set x x x method we have to make use of guys set x x x method so these are the rules and this is all about your placeholder concept now coming about place coming about set x x x method guys here we can pass an argument here guys we can pass the argument so what argument we can pass let us have a look now yes for the placeholder guys we can pass basically two argument we can pass here two argument so first argument okay let me oh uh, please no uh, let me remove these things so that i can explain i'll give all these points only to worry guys again let me remove this yes so so we have to make use of set x x x method so guys my voice is breaking a lot okay fine so guys if you want to set the value for placeholder so what method we will use we will use set x x x so this x x x is nothing but data type of the column so this is going to represent data type if the column contains integer value you will write set integer if column contains string value you will write set string and so on now for the set x x x method guys basically we can pass two argument we can pass guys two argument so we can pass here int placeholder placeholder number we can pass guys int placeholder number or you can say guys placeholder index yes so let me write it neat, little neatly guys yeah just a second yeah so coming about for the set x x x method guys we can pass basically two argument we can pass here guys basically two argument so argument are nothing but we can pass here int yeah we can pass here guys int placeholder number or we can pass placeholder index we can pass here guys placeholder number and placeholder index and in second argument we have to pass the data so it will be something like this guys we have to say int placeholder placeholder number int placeholder number or placeholder index so i'll write ph ph is going to represent guys placeholder so int placeholder number or placeholder index so in first argument we are going to pass this 
Now in second argument we will pass data. In second argument guys we will pass the data. So I can say x x x data. We can say guys x x x x data. So in the sense let's say if you are going to pass here let's say you want to pass yes so this is the syntax we have to follow guys this is a syntax we have to follow so in first argument guys what we have to do in first argument basically we have to pass yes in first argument we have to pass what placeholder placeholder number or placeholder index second argument we have to pass the respective data type now let's say we have a table guys let's say we have a table here so just a second let me draw a small rough table then only you will get a clear picture guys otherwise you will not get the ramayan mahabharat yes so first i'll draw a small table here so let's say we have a table okay roughly guys roughly i'm going to do let's say we have a table and the column names are employee number employee number this is in teaser type every alternate day we will have some network issue right i don't know what will happen certainly only for this class i'm i'm facing every day yes now you can hear me yes yeah i don't every alternate day what will happen there? fine so that's what we are discussing here we can pass two argument first argument we will pass what guys int placeholder number or placeholder index and second argument we will pass data x x x data so fine guys let us understand with the help of a table here so let's say the table we have some table right so this first column contains employee the name of column is employee number next is e name and next is salary yes so let's say e name obviously we will have var cap the salary we will have something else yeah salary we will have what guys salary let's say we will have double so for these column guys now we have to set the data yes for these column guys we have to set the data with the help of placeholder so we have to make use of set x x x method yes we have to make use of set x x x method guys so i need to set the data for the first column at the run time yes i need to set the data for the first column at run time so i'll say public basically the method signature will be public void you know that guys in java bin class also you have used set method right so public void set so what is the data type guys okay ashok i don't know <laughs> why you will get yeah fine that's okay yeah guys so what is the first 
column data type integer so what i need to write guys it in public white set in public public white set in and first argument what we have to pass guys first argument we have to pass the place folder number so this integer this integer value or let's say this column employee number is present at the first position yes so the index value will be one guys remember the index value will be one we are not learning your array concept yeah in case of array index starts from zero but here index will be one so that's what we will say public void set in so the column number index value will be one and we have to pass what guys data here we have to pass data so let's say the data is 420 data is 420 so like this guys we will pass the value so for this first column we have set the value similarly guys for the second column data is what data type is string data type is string but always in first argument we have to pass what index so index will be always of integer type so here we have to pass two and here we have to pass the integer value we have to pass guys integer and let's say java yeah similarly the second column we have to pass the index here so here we have to change it to double you have to change it to double and here we will pass the index and then we have to pass the salary so let's say 555.2598 something like this so like this guys with the help of placeholder we can with the help of set x x x method we can set the value for placeholder is it clear guys yes any doubt up to here what is placeholder what are the rules we have how we can set the value is it clear up to here any doubt We will see the things practically, guys. No need to worry. Just I'm explaining theoretically now. Any doubt up to here, guys? Okay. So, guys, I want you people to take down the heading as place folder. Yeah, I want you to take down the heading as place folder. What table I should explain, Maitra? What table you want to explain? That table contains three columns, integer then we have a string and then we have double yes so we are setting the value so first column is having in teaser so we are set, we are saying public void set in we are passing the placeholder index one and the value similarly we have something as string in the second column we will say public void set string then we have to pass the column name so column number is two basically and then we have to pass here data so like this we can set the value yes you can say it is just like your bean class exactly same exactly Arvin. yeah just like your bean class yes we can pass multiple multiple rows yes we can pass the multiple values kishore don't worry we can pass the multiple values so in that case we have to make use of again scanner class yes we'll see that yeah, we will see that issue. Don't worry. Yeah. So, guys, all of you take down subheading as placeholder and just copy down Ramayan Mahabharat fast. Yes. Just copy down this Ramayan Mahabharat. Then we can go for program.
So guys, done all of you. Okay. So guys, all of you open your clips now. Yeah, all of you open your clips. We will go for program now. Yes, open Eclipse, Eclipse all of you. Okay, so guys, let us create a new class and there we will write our program. So if you are facing difficulty, guys, now follow the steps, you will get it. No doubt at all. So let's say JDBC prepared statement. Prepared statement. Select as a main method and finish. Now we will start writing the program. So first step guys, if you remember, it is nothing but importing the package. So I'll say import. Okay, so first step I need to give first. First step. So here it is nothing but importing the package. So import java.sql.star. Import java.sql.star, I'm going to write first. So just wait. Yeah, Java does without star. So guys, what is the second step of JDBC? Can anyone tell me? Yes, what is the second step of JDBC? Yes. Yes, guys, what is the second step of JDBC? Driver class, we have to load. That's good. So for that, we have to make use of a for name method, right? It is present in class by name, class itself. So my system is lagging a bit. Oh God. Class dot, dot for name method. So guys, what is the fully qualified class name of MySQL? Can anyone tell me? So here we will get an exception, we will handle the exception. So we will say this out driver class, driver class loaded and registered. Driver class loaded and registered. Now, very good, Kishore. Yeah. So after that, what we have to do, we have to establish the connection. So we will say connection con equals to null. Connection con equals to null. So guys, at the top, if you are not going to use this statement, import java.sql.start, then one by one, you need to mouse over and you need to import. Yes, you can see this connection is present in com.mysql.jdbc. So instead of that, we will do it at first itself. Next, we will say con equals to driver manager. So guys, what is driver manager? Get connection. What is driver manager, guys? What is driver manager, guys? I'm asking. Helper class. Very good, guys. So if you will use this, compiler will give you left and right again. So handle the exception by using, you can select add exception to existing catch clause. So, yes. After that, Okay, so let me complete this too. So first I'll pass the, 
Yeah, first I'll pass this fully qualified class name. So I'll say com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. Driver. And here I'll say jdbc colon mysql colon local host colon double forward slash port number is 3306 separator user equals to root so here database name is ops okay user equals to root and password password equals to root itself password equals to guys root itself so let me decrease the font little yeah so after that we'll give a statement sys out connection Established. Established between Java application and database. And database. So up to last class, if you're facing any difficulty, guys, follow this step. Yeah, you will get the output. You will get to know database. So this is basically my I can say this is this is this is. Yeah, this class dot pod name is my second step and this is my third step guys this is my third step so we have completed these two steps these three steps basically now what is the next step guys what is the next step of jdbc yes what is the third step of uh, fourth step of jdbc guys Yes, we have to create a statement or platform. So in how many ways we can create statement or platform? Please give me response fast guys. Yeah, in how many ways? Three ways. Yeah, so what is the factory helper method in case of statement interface? Yes, what is the factory helper method in case of statement interface guys? Create statement. What is the factory helper method? Name in case of prepare statement. What is a factory helper method, guys? It is prepared, not prepared. The factory helper method name is prepare statement. So in case of yes, not create prepare, just prepare statement. Just prepare statement, guys. Yeah, so let's proceed now. Yeah, so guys, in case of prepare statement, as we have discussed, we have to pass the query at the time of creating statement or platform. That is in factory or helper method itself. So now let us proceed. So I'll declare here prepared statement. So statement interface, guys, we learned up to last class. We saw multiple programs. PSTMT equals to none. PSTMT equals to null. So here I'll say PSTMT. Here I'll say guys PSTMT dot PSTMT dot not dot. First we have to make use of the statement. So PSTMT equals to con dot con dot and you can see you will get the factory helper method. So the factory helper method name is prepare statement. And here itself, guys, we have to pass the query. Remember, in case of statement, we will pass the query execute method. But here, it is, here itself, we have to pass the query. So I'll say query. I'll write here insert query in query. I'll write guys here insert query. So in query. And then I'll go back and I'll write a query to insert the data. So I'll say string in query equals to and here we will pass the query we will say insert into jejm21 dot emp values values and guys we will not pass the value here directly yes we will not pass the value here directly so before that we'll give a statement platform created flat 
all of you see here carefully yes don't see here and there yeah don't do any task now all of you concentrate because this is important now platform created don't use your phone don't use your phone guys look here all of you yes i know most of you will use phone whatsapp in between of the class don't do that yes so we have created statement of platform but guys as we discussed as we discussed this prepare statement can accept placeholder yes this prepare statement guys it can accept placeholder so basically we have to set the value for employee table we have to set the value for guys employee table now this employee table contains how many columns yes this employee table guys contains how many columns three column right so how many placeholder we have to use here yes then how many placeholder we have to use three placeholder because i as i said number of placeholder should equal to number of column right so three placeholder so i'll pass one two one two okay two and three one two three guys i'll pass three placeholder so once we have assigned yes once we have set it the placeholder next what we have to do guys yes we have to make use of method to set the value very good so i'll give a statement here sys out setting the value for place holder setting the value guys for place holder so we'll make use of set x x x method so i'll say pst empty dot pst empty dot set and first column contains integer data type so i'll say set int set int and we will pass the column index number so index number is 1 and here we have to pass the value so the value is 420 let me consider guys the value is 420 let's say pst empty dot set next is string so set string with with 420 here dinga okay any other name guys any other unique name chila okay so let's say salary is 50000 so based on salary as well you have to say yes based on salary also you have to say guys 